Hey everybody, Alex Terrace here, healthhacksreviewed.com. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about a, uh, some people would call it, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to use the right polite term, but um, you know, scam is such like a, a low energy word, but it kind of is. Uh, so basically, I'll just get right into it without getting too deep into the science. But here we have some pictures of LEDs you know, it's really trending right now. You got ones beds you can lay in, you can stand in front of them. Here's a few, there's kind of different brands that are featured in these images under, uh, if you just Google, which is what I did. Uh, you know, Juve is one, uh, Red Light Man, Red Rush. Uh, there's kind of all different brands. Platinum Grow Lights, I would say probably three popular brands right now. Technically there's five out, five out there. Uh, so yeah, I mean, here's what they look like. So if you haven't seen these, you just stand in front of them, they're LEDs, right? And let me just zoom in on this as just an example, just so if, again, you don't know what uh, these devices are. They put out red or they put out near infrared light with LEDs. You see these little glass things or plastic things. Those are the lenses that go in front of the diodes. Um, what's really important that people overlook when they're trying to figure out uh, which one to go with is you want ideally for the money you're spending to get the most power into tissues when you're standing in front of it like these people here. Uh, and so first thing is you want to know what is the lens arc on top of each diode? Why you want to ask that and look into that when you're comparing these different brands, and I've already made all the comparisons, by the way, you can just ask me on my website, healthhacksreview.com. It's below in the description. Anyways, um, you want a 30 degree lens arc on these if you're going to stand several inches away. If you have anything less, uh, so like her face right now, that's probably two inches away, three inches, so that's great. That's really where you should be standing. This guy right here, uh, way too far away. Uh, I mean, you, you might still get something going on there for the skin, but for all the other benefits, systemically staying closer. So again, right over these, there's, there's a lens arc. You wanna know what the degree of that is. The reason, so the first, <laughs> the first scan you could call it that, is all these technically work. It's just some are better than the others. So, uh, let me let me just show you something really funny. So all these companies are getting them from China for the most part, uh, or elsewhere, at, and from factories that make these LED grow lights. The same factories. So who cares whoever was the first company? But somebody went over there and they're like, hey, you know, we want to sell these for people to stand in front of. So this is what they look like more or less. Okay, they're hanging them over plants, things like that, and you can choose different LED wavelengths. Okay, so these factories are making the same things for these various companies now, selling them for photobiomodulation devices. And except they're not using blue and purple and all kinds of stuff, they're just using red, different types of nanometer, red at visible. And uh, they're not, I think they might use a little near, but the bottom line is what, what am I bringing this up for? I'm bringing this up because some of these companies, I guess are too lazy uh, to actually change the lens degree. So when you're growing plants, it's far away. You know, you're trying to have a wide spectrum to send the light in multiple directions at a wider area. But if you want to stand in front of it, right, you want more of that energy to be focused on your body. You don't want to grow a whole bunch of big surface area of plants and, and, and disperse the wavelengths in multiple directions. That's what I'm talking about with having a 30 degree. So if it doesn't have 30, it's basically designed more for growing plants is the short story versus healing or supporting the systemic part of different benefits that you know I'm not going to go into. So I've basically taken a look at uh, measuring um, some of the different brands out there. Now we're going to get into a little bit more basic science. I'm not going to go too into it. I'll leave these articles up, by the way, if anybody wants to get into it and read and edumacate themselves a little bit. But uh, so here is, I guess you could call it a scam. So when you are looking at said brand and you're reviewing it and you're looking at the specs, the power specs, which is really what you want to look at, that's the milliwatts per centimeter squared or the joules per minute, joules per second, whatever. And they say, hey, it's 100 milliwatts per centimeter squared or it's 200 or 300 or whatever it is that they give you, 100 is pretty common. The question to ask, folks, is this. You want to determine what type of meter they're using to measure, to get that power measurement. What is the factory using? This is what you have to ask them. What is the factory using to give you that power spec that you're telling me that your device has? Are they using a radiometric meter? Or are they using some sort of meter that handles more photometric or 
is also known as a PAR, P-A-R meter, or a solar meter. So here's an example. You can get a lot of these on Amazon. Here's a solar power irradiance meter. They might even use that term irradiance. They're like, well, this is our irradiance on our device. And it's like, well, okay, that's an appropriate term because you know, they're for growing plants. And when you look at the sunlight, we're talking about irradiance. We need to know these things. Uh, granted, again, these can still be, it's not, not a problem that they use it for plants. They're still therapeutic for people. But you know, my point is that's fine to use that term, but then it's like, okay, great. And how are you measuring that irradiance? So like, for example, here's a, here's a solar power irradiance meter measuring solar power radiation. But do we want to measure a light to see you know, how it's going to be similar to the sun? Well, yes, if we were growing plants, we'd want to, I mean, it's a fine science of how do you grow plants with artificial light. So they need to use these types of meters. Okay. So what I have found is that that type of meter, not that one exactly, but you know, it also goes by this, like a par meter. That's the other term too. Something like this, again, that you can buy. It's just usually a little more sophisticated, maybe on the factory floor um, over in China. Uh, maybe it's a thousand bucks, you know, whatever. Uh, but bottom line is these meters are wrong to use when we're talking about the human body. What the, the, power, the power meter that needs to be used is a radiometric meter. In fact, when you talk to these companies and you're like, hey, you know, what kind of meter do you use? Do you use a, a radiometric? Do you use a PAR? Do you use a solar meter? Or use a, are you doing photometric? Tell me what kind of meter you're using. You know, you really, they should know this stuff. Oh, it's radiometric? Great. What's the company? What's the brand? So like I'll give you an example. Here's a very accessible, it's not too expensive meaning for your average consumer. I mean, it's still kind of pricey, several hundred dollars. But uh, this is a radiometric meter. And this is designed for measuring very to a very fine degree lasers and LEDs and some other stuff too. Uh, so, you know, I think one of these is like $7.99. The other one's like thousand bucks, 12, 1200 bucks. Door Lab's been around a long time and they do all kinds of different devices. I'm not such a fan of their lasers if anybody's looking for a laser, but uh, you know, for therapy, there's better ones out there. Anyways, uh, moving on. So it tells you the specs, you know, it's telling you what's the actual, uh, and by the way, when you ask these companies, say, hey, what kind of meter are you using? They, they should be telling you, they should be showing you something like this, like a cut and paste. Like, oh yeah, it's this sensor and, uh, and here's the actual wavelength nanometer range that it measures. And, you know, so like, you know, here's the optical range, uh, available sensor wavelength range. And like, for example, here they have different meters, right? This one measures 480 to 1100. So we're talking everything from like visible red to near, it's a pretty large range. And some of these are just geared, they're more for certain types of devices, basically. So if, if you call up Thor and you're like, I want to measure an LED, they're going to be like, okay, well, could you tell me more about the LED? I would suggest, sir, that you would buy this particular model. And they would actually guide you to that. So as you can see, there's actually a science here. They'd say, oh, no, no, you don't want to use that kind of meter. Use this other one. Oh, you're measuring a laser? Oh, you're measuring the intensity of light for growing plants? What's your, what's your application? So again, this is now the mind blowing part. When you call up these companies that are selling these lights, what page do I wanna be on here? I'm gonna copy paste this below. Um, they're basically, I've, I've called them up several times now. I've called up several of the, the leading brands or just most popular. And, and usually you stump them. They're just like, oh, well, I, you know, it's like going to a, car, a used car salesman. And sorry if this is really boring right now, I'm just gonna wrap this up and just put some pictures up here. Um, and you can just watch me instead. But basically, you know, if you if you went to go buy a car, right, and they were and it was important that the car had good fuel economy. So what's this is the analogy. If you're getting an LED device for photobiomodulation, you want to make sure that it's hitting the minimum therapeutic dose to get you results, right? And hey, if it's going a little beyond beyond the minimum, great. Oh, this one costs the same price and I'm getting twice the power. Great. Where, which one's that, right? So you're going to a car dealer, you want to know the fuel economy, and then the, and then the so-called expert on that model is like, well, you know, I don't r really know the fuel economy, right? You'd be like, oh, okay, well, 
uh, maybe I shouldn't be talking to you. Wait, you're selling the car, right? Like, you work for this company? <laughs> so that's what I've experienced asking this. So it's like, whoa, red flag, okay. Yeah, why don't you go talk to your factory? And guess what? I've only heard back one time, and I've asked this several times from different companies. And what they came back with basically tipped me off that they're using a PAR or they're using these solar, they're measuring actual flux and irradiance that's more geared towards growing plants, which makes sense because they're getting it from a factory that what? That mainly their main business clients, of which they have tons, are all growing indoor, they have indoor growing operations. They only have a few clients, a few companies selling them on the side in the United States or wherever for photobiomodulation therapy for human usage. So if, why are they gonna measure it differently, right? Why would they use a different meter than they're just gonna use for plants? And, and of course, then furthermore, just to seal the deal, it's like, oh, and you don't have a 30 degree lens arc, so you didn't clearly do your research to point out that you're losing about half your power four inches away. Oh, okay. Yeah, good job, guys. You know, like it's, it looks like you just went over there and you said, could you just put our label on it? Great, okay, what's, what's my margin? That, that's really what it looks like to me. And then and with the exception, I know I'm being a little harsh here, but I'm not, I'm not calling out any brands necessarily. <laughs> but there's not many, of course, to choose from. So when basically my, myself and somebody else that I know, a couple people actually, uh, have actually measured with the appropriate radiometric meters, uh, these leading competitive LED you know, lights out there, what we're finding is the power levels are at least half of what they claim, at least half. And the further, more inches you get away, usually declines quite rapidly. So it's like, all right, uh, I guess we figured out that there is something that we'll just, we'll just say it's ignorance. That's all we'll say. We'll say that they maybe didn't do the science and the research. And, and yes, these other devices can be therapeutic for people. I'm not saying that they're not therapeutic. I'm just saying that if you're looking for good efficacy, the most you can get, best value for your dollar, things like that, then these are the things you look into. And these are how you do apples to apples spec uh, specification comparisons, right? You should be able to say like, oh, you know, this company said this, they're using this meter, great. And then that's how this compares to this one. One last point, because I love rambling on, of course, and hearing my own voice, is, um, is that is it basically, uh, gosh, lost my train of thought. It was such a good point. Um, anyways, if you have more questions, uh, then you can always contact me on healthhacksreviewed.com. Uh, and the last point I was gonna bring up was simply that another example of when you're seeing companies that really are not all about providing the best product and efficacy is this. Have you seen any of these uh, LED lights out there that have red and near diodes on the same on the same um, panel. Have you seen that? Well, guess what? When you actually go and measure, measure things appropriate with the radiometric meter, what we actually find is that near and red interfere with one another a little bit. And they actually diminish the total milliwatts per centimeter squared or irradiance in tissue that your body will receive. These wavelengths, again, several inches away, interfere with one another. And that, by the way, is commonly known in the photobiomodulation industry, which is where all the research is actually done with lasers, and they know that. And they know that to the point where I, they, they're not gonna recommend doing a red laser and a near treatment at the same time for that reason. But these are the companies, either they don't know the research or they don't care. Really, what should, it should be advised to get the maximum amount of dosage into the body to have just a red panel and just a near panel and to purchase two of them separately. Put one on the front of your back and one on the, the front of your back. <laughs> Anyways, what, you know, and then you can turn around and basically get the opposite on the other side. So that's what usually what I recommend to people. Um, so that's another case in point. It's like, okay, so you, know, you wanna do the combo, but everybody of course doesn't have the budget, right? To buy two separate things. So it's understandable. I'm not, it's still maybe useful to have both wavelengths or both diodes, you know? But I'm just pointing out that it diminishes the power. And when you look at the powers that they claim, for having the dual combo, I'm gonna tell you, it doesn't match up because you also have a diminishment because those two wavelengths are interfering with one another. So the whole thing's bogus, all these power settings. 
and, and it shouldn't even be a whole number, honestly, like 100 milliwatts. It's like, okay, did you round up? Like, you know, I, I really want to know the actual measurements here. It's like, again, you go to a car dealer and they're like, oh yeah, the fuel, the miles per gallon, you know, I'm just going to round up and say 40. It's like, well, what are you, what were you rounding up from? 37.6 or 34 or 38? You know, are we using like the old grammar or the old, you know, third grade math, you know, roundup rules if it's 0.5 away? I mean, like it, this is a science here. I mean, when you really get into photobiomodulation and how it works. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for hanging in here with my long winded videos as usual. But I hope you found the information unique because I don't believe anybody else is calling out these companies currently about what they're representing. So if anybody has any comments and says, Alex, you're totally wrong or has any other helpful information or if you've done your own measurements and your own homework. And by the way, I will actually show those measurements if anybody contacts me personally for some of these other competitive brands. But if anybody wants to, you know, do their own measurements, you know, that's always out there. It's always optional for you to do. Anyways, I hope you all found this helpful. And if you have any questions about these types of modalities or other modalities, I consult all the time for free on my website, reachmehealthhacksreviewed.com.